This week's episode of Cheerleaders is presented by Subway, the official training restaurant of athletes everywhere. The dynamic on the team, it is very interesting um, because it is a co-ed squad. I don't like to acknowledge if there's a relationship on the team. I, it creates an awkwardness within the rest of the teammates. Well, I do not have a relationship out in Virginia, so I haven't met the, the perfect one yet, so I'm hoping I'll meet somebody. But the boys in the squad, they, they're very cute. But I think the cutest one is Joey. Yes. I heard Joey has a girlfriend on the team. She's one of the flyers, I think. I met Lauren in 2011. Ah, I knew this was coming. <laughs> I knew you were gonna ask this. And we were friends first. And then um, when it came like around world's time in 2011, I kind of saw her as more than a friend. And so I started talking to her and um, we found that we really liked each other. I don't know where to start. Where do I start? <laughs> Lauren has a really outgoing personality. She always makes everything really fun and um, she's beautiful and I think that she really um, brings out the best in who I am. We always have a really good time together. Well, we haven't dated officially, like ever. We've always been wanting to and like talked about it. We were like waiting until like I turned 15 because that's like when I actually am allowed to date. So we waited till then and then my dad stopped it before he could ask me. Even though she's more mature than most 15 year olds, yeah, she's a you. younger high school kid and a college kid and it just, we don't think it's appropriate. We never dated because I didn't have acceptance from her parents and that's why I never asked her to be my girlfriend. So, people always say that our, me and Joey's story is like Romeo and Juliet, like basically. I'm trying to wait and be respectful of what her parents think. If I don't date Joey, I don't think um, there's anyone better that I could date, personally. It's really hard to be on a team with Lauren. Um, I find it really hard for myself not to like talk to her as more than a friend because I do like her a lot. I'm waiting, like as of right now. That's our plan because we like each other that much. I did have a crush on Joey, but no, not anymore. I'm not in any relationships right now, but um, Michael Eddie, that's my husband. So like, that's my husband. He's my boyfriend in my head. I know me and him will never date. I know like he, we're, we're never gonna, like, we're not gonna get any more than friends, but like, he's like, that's my husband. Like, and he knows he's my husband. Like, but whenever, every time I tell him like, I'm like, you're my husband, he'll be like, Rah, we're buds. Go here. <laughs> we're buds. You're jealous. And I'm just like, no, we are husbands. Like, we are husbands. Like, stop. If Michael Eddy dated boys, me. It would be me. Like, it, it would be. I've never hooked up with a girl on my squad. Well, I just turned 18. My mom told me, like, you know, like, when I first started, like, don't go for any girls on your team. You know, like, if something happens, you can mess up the team. I mean, I sometimes drift away from that idea, but... <laughs> Most of the boys don't want to cause drama on the team or make it hard for the girls to come to practice, so they try to do their business elsewhere. Girls on different teams, that's, that's okay, that's acceptable. But on your squad, you have to practice with these girls and see them, you're just like, ah, and then, you know, girls talk, so someone's gonna find out and then look at you funny and they're gonna know and you're gonna know and it's just awkward. <laughs> okay, enough, enough. Oh, there's a special relationship brewing here. They're gonna end up being a couple, they just don't know it yet. Okay, go, let's go. And there's a girl and boy, not saying their names, but they've always had a history where they're fighting and then they're together and close again and then they're fighting and then they won't talk to each other and it just switches back and forth a lot. I dated a girl at this gym. I was all right. <laughs> Wait, so now you gotta tell me who it is. I, I don't want them to get mad at me, but it's Ricky and Kyle. It didn't start drama, it just like, uh, I don't know, I, I might have hurt her feelings. Why are you Hi, Kyle. 
Kyle is the type of person who doesn't want to be held down, so he just goes around and does his own thing, and he doesn't really think about other people's emotions all the time. I guess it's just a guy thing. <laughs> now, I stay away from the, the girls on my squad. That's, that's a bad idea, I promise. <laughs> This is the first time I've dealt with relationships on the team. I've never dealt with it before. I've already made it very clear they can't be at my practice. I, you know, your social life is your social life. I'm not going to be in the middle of it. If there's anything positive or negative in the relationship, I don't want to know about it. Like, that is your business. Like, once you walk into my gym door, it's work time. Next week on Cheerleaders. This weekend's our first competition in Anaheim. It does make me worried. Being defending world champions is definitely a lot of pressure like to perform this year. 100% focus today. We're not going to put out another 60% routine today. We're not. Got it? We can't let anyone think that they're going to have a chance of beating us. The best Joey advice Sosa, I could 18, give is to trust your doctors, don't rush back into things, and to listen to your body. My Thanks for the great tumbler, question, Leanne. I, I hope your daughter heals fast, and I hope she starts competing coach, soon. Let's take a look at our second nominee for today's goal. She has quite the mastery of those things. FYI, those 